fun little exercise. Let's count to 16 using the binary number system. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, do you feel like you're watching Sesame Street? <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Then go to 16. We need to go 1 out here. 0, 0, 0, 0. So you can see the odometer counting up here. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, all the way up. And every time we roll to a 0, we bump our neighbor. And we gain more and more digits as we go further out. And notice, just to represent 16, we have to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 digits. Now, let's put the decimal equivalent values out to the right. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that is as high as we can go in the decimal system with a single digit in decimal, okay? Binary, have to, we have to take up several digits. and I could go all the way up, but I actually want to stop at 9 just, just because. Let's do hexadecimal. Let's do hexadecimal over here on the right. So 0, 1, hopefully you can see these are kind of lining up. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, but we don't like that. Unlike decimal, we don't have to stop here. We have letters we can go to. So A, B. Notice I'm saying the letters and not the decimal numbers ten or eleven because we're in hex. We're thinking in hex, and it's not ten. It's A. Even though in decimal, its value is ten. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. So, with base 2, we have to use up several binary digits to get to, well, that is this number. In, in decimal, it's, let's actually draw it out. I guess I will draw it out. It's 15 decimal. To get to 15 in decimal, we have to use two digits. In binary, we have to use four. But in hex, the largest value we can represent with a base 10, 16 number with a single digit is 15. Okay, there's 16 values here. That's because we have the zero hanging out there, and that's that is one value. Um, so base 16, we can go. The highest we can go is F, which is 15. Which mm, this is kind of interesting. I think we're done. I'm gonna get rid of the 16 down here, and uh, let's look at this for a minute. F is exactly the largest number that I can represent in binary with four digits. Okay, notice all these ones are turned on. One, 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 one. All the ones are turned on. When we add another one, remember we had to roll over and grab another digit out here. Okay. But in in, in binary, binary to hex, there's this perfect pairing. And that's because sixteen is a power of two. Alright, what's the if I add one here, well then we get sixteen in binary when and this is 15 and 16, that's our base over here is 16. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. Is that right? 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 8, or times another 2 is 8, times another 2 is 16. So it's, uh, I don't want to say happy coincidence. It just works out cleanly that if we can get used to hexadecimal, it's almost like thinking in base 2, except it's an abstraction. Oh, there's a big word, and it's an abstraction. All right, Base 16 is kind of an abstraction for binary. 
All right, it's it's kind of tedious. It's useful though, but it's a little tedious to have to deal with these ones and zeros. And in code, I've never seen. I'm, there probably is, but I've never seen a programming language that allows me to type in a binary number directly like this. Okay, this is you, you just can't do it. It's I, maybe because it's too tedious. Maybe to type in 64 bits would be heinous. Who knows? So instead, all languages that I have dealt with, they abstract another level up to this base 16, where if I want to represent binary, well, I have to think about binary value in hexadecimal, and then this is what we actually would type into computer code as the hexadecimal value. All right, this is a nice, happy, I don't want to say coincidence, pairing, um, whatever you want to call it. It's it's useful. So there you go. There's, that's hexadecimal versus binary. Um, we often think in bits, but then when we type those bits into our computer, we convert them to hex because hex values are what the computer language is like. It abstracts us away. Instead of having to say 1010 for A or for 10, I can just say A and that gives me 1010. All right? So anyway, we're, we're going to look into more of this importance, especially if you look at the programming video playlist. You'll see that we use the hexadecimal a lot, especially in the C++, where we have to get down low with the processor.